Lungs are wet. Jasper, stand by the side. I need room. <laughs> Hello. Get ready for the exciting theory of For All Mankind Season 4 Episode 10. Actor Danny explains the shocking ending. Warning, spoilers ahead. Don't forget, so subscribe to my channel. For All Mankind actor Danny recounts the tragic Season 4 ending and her character's fate, including some unexpected revelations. In Season 4 of For All Mankind, an irritated Danny and Ed cry while hugging someone. Summary. According to actress Cries Marshall, the stunning For All Mankind Season 4 finale reveals that no one is spared, heightening the show's danger and anxiety. Danny's near-death experience pulls the Happy Valley community together after a period of inequality and conflict. Danny's survival in the Season 4 finale foreshadows new scenarios for her character in Season 5. Actor Cries Marshall explains For All Mankind's startling Season 4 finale. For All Mankind had already killed off several key characters by the time the fourth part of the alternate history Apple TV Plus sci-fi drama was finished. That gives a sense of danger to the show. It added to the idea that Marshall's character, Danielle Poole, might die when she was shot while attempting to break up a quarrel. In an interview with the AV Club, Marshall discusses the startling turn of events in For All Mankind Season 4 finale. The actor, who has been on the show since Season 1, said she appreciates how nobody is spared. She listed some of the characters who had previously perished, although Danny eventually survived. Marshall also discussed what it would have been like if Danny had been killed by a bullet, as she and the showrunner pondered the idea. Read Marshall's quote below. One of my favorite things about For All Mankind is that no one is spared. Tracy and Gordo Stevens, as seen in Season 2, accept their fate. It occurs in the Season 3 finale, involving Karen and Molly. So we know that at any point, any of us could be killed. There was a lot of speculation about whether Danny would make it through Season 4. Matt Walpert and Ben Nedevy are showrunners who also scripted Episode 10, and I had a lengthy conversation about what the world would be like if Danny died from her bullet wound. They wrote a version of the script in which she dies. Ultimately, they did not proceed with it. I'm not sure if it's because they couldn't do it themselves or because they have plans for her in Season 5. However, they decided against it. I could imagine a world in which either ending was wonderful. We sadly lose Danielle, and it's the kind of brutal punch we've come to expect from Femme. But I also appreciate that we did not go that way. We conclude Season 4 with a more reflective, hopeful tone. Danny has appeared on the show as a 20-something young lady in an all-male program meme and as a black woman in an all-white ram. In Season 1, she enters the astronaut candidate room feeling embarrassed and anxious. She struggles to pronounce her name. We now see her in Season 4, where she is an accomplished commander, mother, and grandma. It's wonderful and therapeutic to watch her final moments in the finale, reconciling with her family and feeling like everything is right in the world. However, things could have turned out differently. The importance of Danielle's near death in For All Mankind Season 4 finale and the Season 4 conclusion of For All Mankind, Danny Poole can be seen holding onto her side. Danielle is shot in the chest during the commotion of the brawl. She eventually falls into the clutches of Ed Baldwin, her friend and adversary. But the potential of her death becomes the foundation that binds Happy Valley together, and it goes much deeper than that. The gun used to shoot her was last seen in the third season finale of For All Mankind. It belonged to Leon Gill, who defended himself against Danny and Grigory Kuznetsov. The gun reappeared, resulting in Danielle's near-fatal encounter. A security officer discovered the gun and attempted to use it, erroneously, to quell the riot, and Danielle suffered the consequences. But, in the end, the outcome unites the inhabitants of Happy Valley. After a season of inequity and antagonism, Danielle's critical gunshot wound unites everyone on one side. For All Mankind Season 5 stars Margot, Dev, and Kelly Baldwin. Another time jump transports the story to 2012, when Danielle is alive and well and reunited with her family on Earth. With the show's team hoping for a Season 5 renewal of For All Mankind, it will be intriguing to see what happens to that unified front and what Danielle's next chapter will be. The show is also not afraid to let characters go, even if the goodbye isn't fatal. Thank you for watching.